court is going to be back in session, and here is former President Trump. Mr. Trump, what do you think of Judge Cannon's order? Are you happy you voted her? Thank you very much. Uh, what Biden is doing with respect to Israel is disgraceful. If any Jewish person voted for Joe Biden, they should be ashamed of themselves. He's uh, totally abandoned Israel, and nobody can believe it. I guess he feels good about it because he did it as a political decision. You have to do the right decision, not the political decision. But he did a very bad thing. I just want to let you know that we've just filed a major motion in the appellate division concerning the absolutely unconstitutional gag order where I'm essentially not allowed to talk to you about anything meaningful that's going on in the case. And many good things are come, going on with the case. It shouldn't have been filed. Uh, they had this morning the top legal scholars in the country. This is a Frankenstein case. They took a dead misdemeanor. They attached it to a dead alleged federal felony and zapped it back into life. So many of us are just amazed to watch this actually walk into court because it's not a recognizable crime that any of us have seen. That's Jonathan Turley. Uh, I've been doing this for 60 years, and I don't understand what crime he's been charged with. Nobody understands this. I just don't get the crime. There's no evidence of any crime whatsoever. This is a sham. That's Alan Dershowitz. And these are people that are, they speak their minds. They're not for me, they're for justice. This is another one. This is without precedent in American history, only with the desperation of President Joe Biden and his fanatic left-wing enforcers did it become possible to think about arresting and jailing their major political opponent. This case must be taken out of Judge Merchant's hands because he's totally conflicted. Judge Merchant is totally conflicted, like probably no judge has ever been conflicted before. Here's another one, Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg. His prosecution of former President Donald Trump violates both the federal and state constitutions. This is a prosecutor making it up as he goes along. Due process worthy of the names does not tolerate that. So these are statements. This is Andrew McCarthy made that statement, highly respected. A judge is allowing wide scope of information that has absolutely nothing to do with the case. That's Rebecca Rosewood and Fox News. Uh, today we have Rick Scott here, Senator Rick Scott. We have other politicians here. We have people, many people in support. Uh, the uh, outside of this building is closed down like Fort Knox. Nobody's ever seen. We have so many police down here, New York's finest, and they are New York's finest. They're just told what to do, but uh, they don't have them at Columbia. They don't have them at uh, NYU or any other places. This is like an armed camp down here, and you have nothing to worry about. Believe me, your problem is from the left. It's not from the right. Big problem from the left. It's from within, from within our country. That's a bigger, in my opinion, a bigger danger than China or Russia. You have it from the outside, and you have it from within. From within is a bigger danger to our country, and it's from in, from the left, not from the right. But Rick Scott's here, and he said, you can't go after political persecutions. This is a shame. This should not be happening in our country. And Senator Ted Cruz put out a very strong statement about attacking Donald Trump and the American voter. It's an attack on both. This is purely and simply election interference. There is no case. So that's the way it is, but here we sit after two and a half weeks, and I think you'll see some very revealing things today, and uh, I want to thank my lawyers. They've done a very good job, but I'd rather thank them after it's over as opposed to now, because uh, we don't want them to get carried away. It's, uh, there's no case. It should have never been brought. Alvin Bragg didn't want to bring it. Cy Vance didn't want to bring it, and he didn't. He left. He didn't bring it. Everybody's looked at it. Southern District didn't bring it. Federal elections didn't bring it. It's also a federal case, not a state case, which they're not allowed to do, but these are minor details. So I just want to thank you for being here, and we'll see you later in the afternoon. Thank you very much. What did you think of the story? I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.